Hello everyone, it's Lel, and it's time to talk about episode 25 from Wonderful Precure. I feel like now we're taking a little break. After the egg appeared, we are going to take a little break. Wonderful Precure has been very eventful so far, with like maybe two episodes that didn't have much going on. So like so far it's been very, very eventful for the characters and for the show overall. And now we're taking a little break, we're going a little slower, and I think those types of episodes are really nice because we're able to get to see the characters just enjoying themselves. And I feel like if we like those episodes or not are going to depend, obviously, on the writing of them. And also if we like those characters, if we want to keep on following them in those mundane situations. Usually, I think, like, for me, at least, it depends a lot. Because, like, in Hirogar, we had a lot of those episodes. And I ate them all up because I loved the team so much. In Wonderful, so far, it's working for me. I'm liking them as well. And this episode was no different, I think. I really, really enjoyed it. So we have the girls going to the beach. And they're doing their summer homework. And they decide to do the summer homework in the beach. Uh, one of the projects that they have to do can be done in a group. And obviously, like, we have those details, as I said, like, exploring the characters, exploring the idea of how the characters are and, you know, their personalities and, you know, just cementing their personalities on us, the viewers. You know, Yuki saying, like, oh, I just want to do it with Mayu. And then they wanted to do it in group. And she's like, okay. But um, when they say the names of everybody in the group and she's like, why are you two first? Komugin Iroha, why are you two first? Uh, and then they say Yuki and Mayu, and then she's like, why isn't Mayu first? <laughs> that is very her. And when she is going to say, she says Mayu, Yuki, and the dog duo, the dog combi. I don't exactly remember how she mentioned them, but it was something like that. It's very Yuki. It's very funny. And for an, a regular episode like this, it's very nice to see Yuki developing more and more and I like that they're going very slow with her character it works perfectly for her uh, and so when they get to the beach we have lots of different situations one of them is that they, they cannot do their homework so they're because it can only be seen what they want to see can only be seen at night so they want to do um a little happy time they want to enjoy a good time in the beach so they all get their swimsuits there's no swimsuit for Yuki there's one ready for her as well. Her, her expressions in this episode were priceless. I loved it. So we have the girls enjoying themselves. We have some funny scenes with Satoru trying to swim. It reminded me of Laura from Tropical Rouge. And then we have Komugi trying to swim as well. I mean, she was swimming her own way. I love it. It was so funny. And then we have Iroha surfing. When Iroha was surfing, we have a very funny scene with Mayu uh, using her voice as uh, Satoru's inner voice. I love that so much. And you know, I mean, I'm not really interested in crushes like this in stories. Like, I don't really care very much, especially in Precure. Like, I really don't care. But I really like this because it just shows more from Mayu. You know, it's Mayu is that shy girl who is always trying to, you know, do all different things. And, you know, that this has been her character so far. But we can see a different side of her. We can see different sides of Mayu after her arc has been kind of concluded when she became Cure Lillian. Now we're being able to see different sides of Mayu without her losing her essence. And I just think it's amazing. It's really incredible. I just love that. That scene was everything. You know, the way they were having fun? Amazing. But obviously, to me, you know, I'm biased towards Yuki. So I was super happy to see, you know, Mayu uh, in the sea. And Yuki was, like, trying to keep out from the water. But then Mayu was like, kawakunai, kawakunai. And I just love how just things mesh with her persona as Mayu and her persona as Lillian, they used to be a little different, but now they are meshing together. I love it. And, you know, she was holding her hand and Yuki was able to let go of her fears 
because of Mayu. You know, Mayu is someone who depended a lot on other people's approval and other people's support. And she is the one who is supporting. She is the one who is by their side with holding their hand. I love this. And then Kumgi scares Yuki away. Yuki jumps away. And I just love how she was reacting as a cat while in her human form. That was everything. Uh, and then we have uh, the Garu Garu appearing. I, I, I think the problem I have with the Garu Garu scene today uh, in today's episode, in this uh, this week's episode, was that it was kind of like a slow action. It took too long to happen, and it dragged out a little bit. So the first thing, I like the idea of Mayu jumping into the turtle and staying on its shell because the turtle needed company and it needed support because it was scared that it's a Garu Garu. Yes, I like it, but I feel like it's already time for Lillian to actually think of her powers as Cure Lillian. She's been Cure Lillian for a little while, and the she she used her powers already, you know. But girl, I I under as I said, I understand the idea behind everything she went through in this action, but it is time for her to start blossoming as Cure Lillian. Let me explain why. Uh, I love the fact that the one that is controlling the action in the season is Cure Nyami. She is my favorite, and I just love how fierce she is in the action scenes, in the battle scenes when we had them as well. She's gorgeous. And in this episode, it's, it was really nice when, you know, Lillian saw the eggs and she was trying to protect the eggs. And then um, Nyami stepped up and said, look, I am going to protect what Lillian wants. And I'm going to protect Lillian's feelings. She did that for me. And now I'm going to do that for her. But it was a lot of water for her to protect. And she quickly felt tired. Uh, but then, like, what I... Obviously, I think like it's it really depends on the episode, how the cures uh, have their powers. Like sometimes we can see them using the powers in totally different ways and they don't get tired. And then in this episode, she used lots of shields and she got super tired. But it was amazing to see the Nyami shields, lots of Nyami shields. It was so cool. Did you learn that with the best? Yes, you did. Age, age. So in that scene... We have a couple of things that I found really nice. One of them is that Nyami is not alone. I loved the scene when they touched her hand, and I think it was wonderful. Wonderful touched her hand and said, you're not by yourself. We're here. We are a team, and we're going to do this together. We're going to protect the eggs together. And they did. Very cool. And it's like they are learning with Nyami to use their powers and to create techniques with their powers. Wonderful and friendly, sometimes they do it. When it's convenient for the plot, they do it. When it's not, they don't. Uh, sometimes they're like super dumb for battle. Sometimes they're not. Uh, but most of the time, I feel like they're a little inept. But Nyami was able to push them. And now they are able to do it, you know. But it also matched the theme of the episode in which they are a team now. Not only in battles, not only as precures, as wonderful and yonderful, but also as friends, as people who are enjoying life together. It will culminate at the end of the episode with uh, Yuki calling them Komugi and Iroha for the first time. <laughs> that was so cool. Uh, but, you know, I like the, the action scene, like that part of the action scene because of this. We have Nyami pushing them together for the battle and also... Friendly and wonderful, bringing Nyami together and saying, you're with us. We are a group. Solidifying the idea of a group. I really like that. I just want to see Lillian blossoming, you know, because I feel like it's already been that time for her. She has to blossom in battles, and we haven't seen her using a kidding animal. She's seen the other cures using them. Why doesn't she think of using one herself? Lillian, baby, wake up. We need to see you shining because we love Cure Lillian in this household, baby. Uh, and then, you know, they created a little technique and they were able to purify 
uh, the monster. I like the idea of uh, randomizing the finisher. You know, sometimes it is Friendly Birare, sometimes it is Amiti Lumiere. I like this idea. Both of them are able to do it, so why not, you know, mash things up until we get the power up, and they're probably going to use the power up all together. So, you know, it's nice that we're going, we're having these changes. I think it's a cool thing. And then, um, I feel like the ending of the episode really solidified how, how funny things are uh, for Yuki. And as I said, I really like the idea that they're taking this slow approach for Yuki. The girls were like, oh my god, Yuki said our names for the first time. And Yuki's like, you're so annoying. And they're like, please say it again. And she's like, shut up. <laughs> I love that. Really, really nice. I think that the approach they're taking for Yuki's character is really cool. And I don't know. I don't know if it's because I like her very much. But I also think that uh, the way they're working with her is splen splendorous. Is that a word? I think it is. Um it's really good, and I feel like she is really taking this season and, you know, putting the crown on her head. I know she has a crown as Kirinami, but she is really doing it as a character, as Yuki, because, you know, the writing on her is incredible, in my opinion. I really like what they're doing with her, and I really like that they're doing it slow. Slow and steady with her character. That is how you do it. I just love it. Anyways, babies, this is my view on episode 25 from Wonderful Precure. What was yours? Please leave in the comments. Let's keep talking about it. Uh, this week, I took a little while to upload my video. It's because I just got home today on Monday because I was in Sao Paulo. I was in Anime Friends. I was enjoying a little anime convention. I was able to meet Wasta. I was so happy. I love them so much. I went to her to their concert and then I went to the meet and greet twice. It was so much fun. They are amazing. I just love them. I love idols. They're amazing. Wasta, I love you. It was amazing. I loved it. Anyways, babies, this is it for now. I want to take this little time to thank the members. Of the Magical Cinnamon Channel. If you are a member, thank you very much for your support. And if you've watched up until now, thank you so much as well. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, bye bye.